So today we moved the boat from just below Banbury to... Just below Banbury? Even more just below Banbury. Just below the rock. Uh, it's like half a mile. Yeah. And now we're walking in to go and see the lock that they are changing Opening the gates the on. Yeah, so hopefully that'll be interesting. And um, there's a museum that we're going to see. And Tuli's boatyard. And, um, and it's raining. Yeah. And we're shuttling under a bridge. Yeah, and, and George is repeatedly pulling on my arm because he wants to go further. Further, George. Let's go. Okay. the lock we had to go one by one because they didn't let George in yeah what did you think it is a very nice brick hole in the ground <laughs> I was surprised that the floor was so solid like I thought I don't know what I thought but apparently they dug out a couple of feet of you, um, you could silt. see the line did you see it no yeah there's like a silt line like it was it was this deep from you know from my oh of yeah yeah chest it down it was just full of mud yeah I and just apparently an old Zenit E camera <laughs> he said they didn't find many phones in the uh, lock this time. They said they did it two years ago. They dug it out and yeah. there was more phones then. But yeah, just one shopping trolley and a camera. And a little Nokia 2275. Uh, and um, yeah, the gates look impressive. Apparently they cost £18,000. Yeah, they're really neat. And the old ones are sitting over here um, in, in kind of repose. I think they only did the bottom gates. They didn't do the top gate yeah. uh, or top gate. Um, this is the first lock we've seen actually on the Oxford that has two, two. gates on one end and one gate on the other. Yeah. Um, Did you learn anything else down there? Did you talk to anyone? Uh, not much. They talked about when the bomb damage was repaired because this place was bombed during World War II. Oh yeah, it used to have like a brick floor, but then yeah. they had to redo it with concrete, I guess. Generally very interesting. Yeah. And cool. lots of volunteers talking and showing you around. Yeah. Okay, so this is Thule's historic boatyard, where the oldest dry dock in England is, and where there is a lovely little chandlery and a forge where they teach you, if you want to learn, how to forge things, how to be a blacksmith, which is kind of cool. The forge is also a really old building. The um, actual boatyard and the um, uh, dry dock are a scheduled ancient monument. There's a lovely little chandlery in here, and they've also been really helpful to us. Um, and it's just kind of a cool little place. I really like it. It's just up from Banbury Lock, outside of all things the Q um, Mall. You know. And it's got some cool stuff in it. There's a little museum where they have um, old history related to the boats and Tooley's boatyard and George Tooley, the guy who ran the boatyard, and um, um, Tom, I think it is, Skinner, who was a uh, coal merchant who was actually important to keeping the Oxford open and also RTC Rolt, the guy who um, wrote Narrowboat and sort of started the Inland Waterways Association which led to all of the canals being reopened um, started his journey from here with a boat that was rebuilt in this dry dock called Cressy and um, yeah and that is there's photos of it inside of there um, it, it is a steam tube in which you put pieces of wood because it used to be that the old narrow boats, the old um, coal boats and merchant boats and everything were made of wood that was then lined, I just found out, with horse manure and sawdust um, among other things and tar, pitch and um, they'd put wood in and they'd steam it and then the steam would allow you to bend the wood so that's how you got the planks that ended up becoming the bow of the boat and the aft of the boat Really neat place. Shopping centre.
how to forge things, how to be a blacksmith, which is kind of cool. Um, in fact, I wish we had time to do that because I wouldn't mind learning how to hammer some metal into, you know, dog shoes, maybe? Anyway, and in the museum, lots of little oddities. There is a um, model engine building um, group that has little model engines, and there is a astrophotography course. Yes, and 